Okay, hey guys. Um, I just want to come on because I did that live Dollar Tree Michaels and Walmart haul with you guys yesterday that I missed stuff. And because it uses, you know, I was using the, the camera on my computer. It doesn't capture things in the right colors. So, you know, some things just didn't come out well. And I wanted to go over that. And also, like I said, I forgot some things. And then I went to Walmart and got some other things on clearance today. That was, I'll explain that. Um, they had something where you could trade in your old car seats and they gave you a $60 gift card. So I think that's why that lady wanted to pick up those car seats from us the other day. But anyway, we had more. So we brought four in because you could bring two in per person. And I'll explain that in the live tonight. <laughs> But I was almost killed today in the shed, so which would have been kind of ironic since we're covering a case where a woman is killed in a shed. Um, I'll explain that in the live too. Yeah, but I really came really close. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you what I got and it'll, some of the stuff will be carried over. I just want to show, because I keep mentioning what I'm going to do with these houses, and if you didn't see them, these are like the house shadow boxes that they have at uh, Dollar Tree. These are like a highly sought after item. I forget where I finally found these and which Dollar Tree it was. I can't remember, um, but I have four of them and they're in different shapes. Some are tall and narrow and some are wide like this. Like I said, you know, replacing the paper back here, painting it either with a chalk paint or a stain, maybe hanging a hook in there. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. All right. But so when I mention the houses that, and then hooking them together like in a set of four. So, all right, let's look at some of this stuff. I said I got this. Hold on. I got to push my lens back here. Okay. So let me come around like this way. Okay. All right, so we have the, the ghost, and he was just really cute. He's got a spider on his head, and I just washed my hands. That's why I have a paper towel here. This is I'm crazy, which I am. I you know that. All right, so we've got the little bow guy, and then this is the stuff like Birdie was going crazy over, and I went crazy over. I think this is brand new stuff. This is Crafter Square. I hope that they have this all the time in there. This is adhesive cork sheet, so it's self-adhesive, and that's what I was even saying. I could even put, you know, cork in the back of there or hang something on the bottom and then with cork that, I don't know, just lots of different things, but you can't go wrong with this. So this adhesive cork, I got two sheets of that. And then there was this one. I know some people are doing different things with theirs. And I just picked it up. You could do something different on the back as well. All right. Then I know a lot of you like the big pumpkin tray. I think it's great if you're carving a pumpkin and it's messy or you're painting a pumpkin, which I do, and you could have it there. It's easy to clean. And someone said, what about a whole bunch of um, Halloween cookies? Or if you make treat bags up, you could have them there, or right, whatever. There's a lot of, I guarantee there's people that are probably spraying this with chalk paint, spray paint, and then um, giving it like a farmhouse look, I betcha. All right, maybe I'm getting better with my ideas. Then I got the three letter set. They, I've, I've hauled them for the fall that say thankful, grateful, and I think harvest, I'm not sure. I'm thinking that for the washboard that, well, you haven't seen that one yet. The one that I did in the chalk paint, I think I want to put like this across where the writing is. One of these, um, I think uh, like one of the ones for the Thanksgiving that I got. And I'm wondering if I should spray it or keep it the same. I don't know, but they're really nice. So you get peace here, believe, and joy. And these are nice. You can spray them, you can paint them, you can put them inside a wreath, you can put them on a sign, um, whatever you like. And if you find them, get them because they tend to go fast. I know some of you cannot find these. So you see when it's, we have peace, right? And believe. And joy. Okay, so let's see what else. 
Okay, now, some of the things that I showed last night, let's see. This, I said it was like a brush, and I'm going to use it for ASMR because it'll brush some of the things that I have. I look for things that, and itself, it sounds like that. So this is going in the ASMR. I know I have to make a new ASMR video, but I'm gathering stuff together. Okay, but I have that. All right. That's what I picked that up for. So that's gonna go by itself there. These I picked up the other day. I forgot to show you these last Sunday, actually. Um, I had seen these once before and I didn't pick them up and then I saw them again. I thought they were really cute. I just found a bunch of uh, Yankee Candle votives in my shed. They're ironically, I think, in like the Christmas scent or something. The red, uh, what is it? I have it outside. So I have two of these that I got. I thought they were pretty cute. And then I showed you guys this. I knew, I saw somebody do it today. I told you that the red Christmas truck ribbon. And I picked up two of these and the, I'll show you the other one I have soon. But I know those were going to go fast. And then the day, this is, this is from Sunday. When I told you I only picked up two containers, I just picked up two of these pantry type or they're stuck in there, but they're in the kind of the faker basket weave. And these um, are in the fall color. So I picked up two of those. My kids like the Nutella breadsticks like this to take on the go in school. They have a snack or whatever. Um, so I picked up a few of these, four or so. Okay, now this is the Peace Joy. This is how it comes packaged, so you know how to look for it in your store. Peace Joy Believe. And now the Crafter Square, like I was showing last night, the regular, I guess, Anytime is more like that. Now, if you look at the Harvest ones that I got, they were more of like an orange color. So this shows like seasonal. They're trying to revamp. All right, so here's a new item that I haven't seen. It's also by Crafter Square, which is, you know, made by Dollar Tree. This is the glue and residue eraser. I have never seen this. I have never seen this. You know what I'm thinking of doing? I know we, I, I gave away some of the journals. I still have uh, more journals. I have coloring books to give away and things like that. I'm thinking of making up like a craft giveaway filled with like little things like this and the letters and um, you know maybe one of the boxes and then having some kind of contest or something for that like maybe you know you know what I mean I don't know we'll see right try to get that done let me know how you, what you think these were the wood boxes I said they had lots of lots of wood crafts they had wood almost like um, they were almost like shadow boxes. They were kind of like trays. I know someone will do something with those. They had these, they had them in like little drawers so you could stack them and make those little kind of um, tabletop dresser things, right? They had a lot of wood crafts and I knew that uh, it was not gonna last for long. Now this, it actually looks maybe to you like there's dark color behind there but it's actually right through to the box. You could put a fabric or something behind it something glittery if you wanted um, but I think you can stain these you can paint these I think I'm going to try to stain this and see how that looks but I just wanted to give that a try I know and then the other craft thing were these little birdhouses that were all done and I know they have little kits you can put together but these were all put together and I know someone's going to have some kind of craft for those I bought three of them there were, uh, there's another design, but I did not like the other design because it had two holes in it. It would just look like, like, it was exactly almost like this, but it had like a hole here and then a hole here. And it just, I don't know, I just didn't care for that. So I got two of those and then this one with a heart. And I figure someone's gonna have a craft, even maybe decoupaging with fabric or paper or just like maybe the roof with fabric and this, you know, I don't know. I, I always have crafty thoughts and sometimes I don't get to the stuff, but I try. All right, so we got those. The praying. I haven't seen this yet in this large size, this praying. They had a lot of different colors. 
So that was purple. And then these little silicone utensils. I got three of those for the slime. And so, like that, okay. I picked up a set of the craft brushes. I picked up a sanding sponge. I just need those. Picked up a nice, this is a good buy, but the praying white. Okay. I was in Walmart tonight, and their big ones are $2.50 a piece. So, for a dollar, that's a tremendous deal. Okay. And then they had this, the Rich Art, but they had these really nice colors. This is a red oxide, so I picked that up. And they've got this deep brown. I keep thinking I hear rain. I'm freaking out because. And then this yellow oxide. So I just like those colors. Very fall. I always pick up these when I see them because I use them for staining projects. I cut them into quarters. This is a life hack. And so they, I, you can apply stain and things or waxes with them. So that's what I use. Okay. And then it's so funny. My kids, I can really, especially Ethan, doesn't really get excited about many things. These were on the counter. I showed you these last night, but you couldn't get a good look at them. And they had three different, like they had this, this size, then they had a different size, small, it was like a different shape, and then they had a bigger one like this, like almost like for an essential oil, but I didn't, I mean, I have a lot of the essential oil bottles and the roller bottles that are big, so I didn't want bigger bottles, but they had them all. It looks like something they're gonna stock all the time because it's in the regular Crafter Square packaging. Let's hope that you see them in yours if you don't. But he's like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Can I have one? I'm like, what are you gonna do? He's like, oh, those are great. Somebody said necklaces or something, but anyway, I picked them up and that's one of the things I was thinking for those houses because I got these little pearl beads. They had a lot of beads. I thought maybe fill one up there and like, you know, glue it to the bottom. I don't know, I'm looking for ideas. So I picked those up and then I picked up these because I thought that, let's just say kids are painting something, right? You can put that down there. They could put brushes here. You know, where do I put my brush down or whatever. They could have, if they have water to clean their brush or if they're using watercolors or whatever, it's just easy. And, I, and I, in fact, when I cleaned out the shed, I found another tray like this, smaller that I thought would be great if someone's doing a craft. Like even if you're um, beading, right? And so you're working here, you could put your beads there. I think it's really great. I do felting, my daughter does felting too as well because you could have your needles here, you could be working here, you know what I mean, and have different walls. So I, I don't know, I think that they work out great. So I'm gonna get the monkey one I have in the shed and clean that one up too. All right, we got those. Let me see, okay. All right, pick up these. These are the Crafter Square. I'm gonna see if they're any better. The other ones I used to get were in the tool section and like you go over like two swipes and the brush, like the hard plastic inside is already coming through. Okay, more, more of the Nutellas. All right. And they finally got these kind of brushes in. They don't have a lot of them, um, but this is the larger foundation brush. So I picked that up. Okay. And then I picked up some more of these. This, these just came, this is a three brush set, but they just look a little, they're di different. They have, so I picked this up. They had a lot of paintbrushes, but with the holidays and crafts coming, you always use paintbrushes, right? Yes. And this is, I showed you this, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Here's another tray that you can use for crafts. It's a big plastic one. So if you're doing something, you can just put that under. That's what I got these for. And then they have these huge canvases. They normally, the biggest size there I've gotten was eight by 10, I think, and they were hard to find. Now this is 11 by 14, and that's really great. Lots of holiday projects could be done. Mama Ames is saying, you know, what, no, it's on a hard back, you see? So you would have to frame it or something or put up one of those little picture hanger things on the back, those adhesive ones. Anyway, picked up two of those. 
I picked up that shopping bag because I love this little dog. Call her Fifi, even though she's not Fifi. Call her Fifi because she looks like a Fifi. Okay, and then I picked up this garden stake. I just love the bicycle themes. So this says Happy Harvest. And it has a little leaf and a little springy thing. This is really nice colors. You can stick it in a planter, stick it in the ground, or even take it off this and put it inside a wreath. Lots of ideas with that one. Okay, and then this, I call this a catalyst. I didn't mean to. It's corn. And this is the orange one, and I do have a yellow one. I see they kind of look like those no-no bird feeders. I have those. That would be neat if they made them, and then you could have little birds or chipmunks come to your door. But anyway, picked this up, and I have one in yellow. I just don't, it must be, I think it must be in the car. I don't know. Okay, this is another thing I picked up for ASMR. It might be hard for you to hear, but... those brushes and things on it and then it's got so that's going to add some more all right that's michael's we'll get to that in a minute i picked up a package of these for heavier duty things i still toss them right out you don't understand the shed situation i'll explain it to you on the live so these are some of the stickers you can see that they are See, they're not just flat. So they're very cute, either for scrapbooking. Again, again, I was thinking about maybe in those houses. I don't know. They had a lot of nice designs. these because remember Mama Ames had one on and she didn't tell me for burning, protecting your fingers from the hot glue gun. And these I thought, th these were the, um, you couldn't see these, Jolie's Boutique, right? And um, I just spilled something. Okay, <laughs> Jolie's Boutique, they're like crocheted, they say stickers, but say stickers, but you can look at the website and they're like crocheted embellishments very nice and these are new crafter square again this is what i was telling who was it that was in there she said she got little clothes pins to close her cookie bags and i said you could have gotten these and you know take a very fine paint marker and put oatmeal cookies or just a little chocolate chip and there's little clip, clippy things there. And those were a dollar, aren't they cute? But I thought maybe even for the inside of those house boxes with a little um, saying or something on them, I don't know, maybe clip a picture to the bottom, I don't know. And I just got that, it's a poly uh, high polymer eraser, okay. They had a couple of cute box signs so people can buy these redo them themselves or if you like them you can keep them I do like this one right here a lot the happy harvest okay and here's another ah, one of the wooden boxes this is a house And then this is the little hopping guy. Um, this is the only pumpkin I saw there. I didn't see a pumpkin the last time, so I picked him up. All right. And then Mimi has got all discombobulated in the bag. They're the wooden um, pumpkin. And you see they have self sticks so you can put them easily into crafts. Some are painted, some are not. There's glitter pumpkins, there's orange pumpkins, and then there's ones that are not painted or stained. This is Crafter Square. Oh, see how you see the difference? Look up in the corner there, it's the autumn, right? So that's how you see their seasonal stuff. Okay. Here's another one from the Jolie's Boutique. Very cute. And 
some more of the stickers. This one I thought would look cute, a house in a house maybe. Or I got these for the, the coffee, the teas, the iced tea. Very cute. Oh, and then see, these are the pearl buttons. See all the different sizes? There's tiny, so I thought the tiny ones would fit in the jar. Maybe I didn't even look at it. I had to rush through there because that was the night I was with my sister, and so when I got to the Dollar Tree, it was, they were almost closing. But I will see if they haven't, but this is 135 pieces for a dollar. I figured they would be good for crafts, and maybe for those jars. And then, let's see. I thought these are really cute. On the, I like On the Road again, because that's my theme, it seems. Okay, here is the other ribbon that I got. It's uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Okay. I picked up two packages of these. I like to have these in my purse to clean my phone screen or if you have to, you know, clean something and you want it sterilized. They're always good to have with you. Plus they're like, safe for electronics and stuff like that. So that's great. If you stay in a hotel or something, clean the remote and things. Those are good. From a okay, then um, someone here sometimes uses crazy glue to seal something in his finger, but this was the real liquid skin and it was at the Dollar Tree. So I picked that up. Two of those. One, two. Okay. I got this one mainly for the enjoy this sweet moment. It might go in one of those houses or something else. And then here's another one. The house would be cute in the house or something. Or the little key heart, and if you had a key hook, right? Or the key, right? Okay. And then I normally see the big size clothespins. I have the minis. These are the super tinies. I mean, no. <laughs> I, I think I might have the minis right here. These are the medium sized ones. These are the ones I was saying. These are 24. Someone said she got little mini clothespins for her little cookie bags. And I said you could get the ones with the, like this. Or you could get this size, paint them or something if you wanted, or just leave them natural. Um, and they're bigger than the mini minis, but they're not as big as the, the full size. They had a lot of chalkboard um, tags and chalkboard hearts. Hearts I got last year, I believe, um, but I didn't think it was from Dollar Tree. It might have been from Holler. They had these little tags, very cute, with the jute string, jute cord, four pieces there. So I got those. I thought maybe even those might be nice, and you could put an embellishment in the house with something there. I don't know. I'm just going nuts with those houses. Okay. And then I picked up another of the... Red shawl. Picked up a nail glue. Not the one I like. Oh, wait a minute, I have another another liquid skin. That's three. Okay. Um, I picked up the maple leaves. I have the, I think it's the acorns. I was thinking of decorating some of those uh, kombucha bottles that I have. Maybe they would look nice, put some fall flowers in them because we'll they're amber colored and then to put these on, we'll see how that goes. And then I know this one had a lot of these one time when I went. I know someone sent me one of these, this Book of Joy journal, but I know a lot of you were looking for these and there was only one left, but it's and it had, there's a ribbon, see there's a ribbon bookmark. And there's, there is, despair can come from deep grief, but it can also be a defense against the risks of bitter disappointment and shattering heartbreak. Resignation and cynicism are easier. 
more self-soothing postures that do not require the raw vulnerability and tragic risk of hope. Very true, right? Okay, so that's that. And let me see. Was that everything I showed you last night? I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, um, but I want to show you some of the other things. So, from Michael's, the whole five minutes that I went in there, I picked up this. This was 60% off, I think. So, I just like that one because I know, yes, I can make my own signs. Oh, and Walmart has a clearance on box signs. I didn't buy them. I took some pictures of them because I have a lot, lot from the ones I did buy to still make, but it's a good time to look at the clearance section. Go to your garden section. They had the box signs that said like home is something and they were really nice ones made of, you know, nice, nicely constructed like the ones that I made mine on. So check that out. And this is home sweet home. And I mean, you could even take this little fall leaf off if you wanted it bothered you, you could switch it to the back and then just move it forward in the fall. Whoops. And okay, so I picked that up because it's a different shape, you know, it's hard and it was um, a good price. So I picked that up and then I picked up, let's see, speaking of putting something in the houses, these were half price, so they were five dollars, they were down to two fifty at Michael's and I cannot believe this. Okay guys, I can't believe this. I just finished up the Michaels and then I went on and on and finished everything and the camera did not save the file correctly. So I have to do this again. So I was showing you these books, right? And these are really cute. I love the trees there and that plaid that marble i love that rachel legacy keep dreaming and doing you got this do the impossible do all things with love and great care so that's one these were 250 like i said love you get three of each design here i love that design there love that one cameras i always like New York City, going places, flying high and looking pretty. So that was Michael's and then I have the paper. So I've got the red birds. I love those cardinals and other assorted red and pink birds. And I have bicycles, tandems and cruisers. Okay. I thought, I thought this looked kind of cozy, kind of vintagey. Bees and butterflies. And then, if you remember those shadow boxes I got from the Dollar Tree that had black and white striped paper behind them with a little like clip, and I said I think I might want to do at least one of those over. I think the black cameras might look really nice there. And then I got these iridescent pineapples. There we go. And that was Michael's because somebody was in the car waiting for me. Okay, now on to Walmart clearance. Oh, and this was so hard and I just showed this all. Oh boy. You might have seen that I hauled those big milk crates the other day. Well, I got more milk crates. Certain colors they had. Purple, teal, white, and like a Deep blue were on sale. I just think the black were the regular price. I thought it was great when I got them for three something, um, but they were down to two fifty today. So I bought eight of the purple. And you know what a milk crate looks? These are the full size milk crates. I showed you these last night. These are the. Oops. I don't know. Hold on a minute. Why is my? I know I just changed my angle. Okay, I'll pull it out here. Hopefully, let me move the milk crate down here. So I got these notebooks. Those are even nice. So, you know, somebody said they put everything in a frame. The zebra. And these were a dollar, I think. They might even be lower now. They still had like a lot of notebook sales. And then purple giraffe. 
actually really pretty. Okay, and then I showed you these flexible bins. Last night that I got for $2.50 in the spa green, they had them in gray too, and same Walmart. Um, they were still on there. They're an unmarked clearance. These are a nice big size, but I also got another unmarked clearance, which I already put some things in them. This is funny. Just to get them out of the way, you see how nice and hold on a minute. I do turn my camera. Okay, so there, there's lots of room in them. These are two in a pack. These are the flexible ones, two in the deeper purple. And these were two fifty for two. So at dollar twenty-five a piece, I bought the last four. Very cute. Two sets. And okay, good. That's saved. Now I showed you last night those wash tubs, and I told you that. In the past, I've looked for them for my kids, for my little boys, because not one of my older kids, so I didn't have a photo studio then. I had theirs done at Sears or something, but um, I wanted the pictures with the you know, metal wash tub, and I actually found some. I found like the galvanized, and then I had a red one and a yellow one. I can show you the pictures I did for my kids when they were little, but they were hard to find, and they were, I paid a lot of money for them. Now, I noticed that Walmart has the galvanized clearance, starts usually at the end of August, and you saw if you got that big galvanized oval tub that's huge. Um, that would be great for twins, right? But um, yeah, I have other things in the galvanized, Mama Ames remembered the galvanized tray, I didn't even remember that at first. And there was other galvanized items I got the year before, the year before that. So every year, galvanized items, that's when they go on clearance. I noticed that the baskets and the crates and stuff go on this year. Remember when I got the ones for 10 cents? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Okay, so these are nice, big. These are like the party tubs. They have a nice big handle. Uh, they are, let's see here, perfect for a studio like that if you're using a bathtub to put a baby in or if you want to use a puppy. I've done puppies in them too. Or, you know... Anything else you can do it. You could spray them if you wanted to. You could decorate them with um, vinyl letters, whatever you want. So this is the round tub, the 15 inch diameter by nine inches high, and I got them for $2.50, and I bought three of them. They were all gone today. So it's a good thing I picked them up the other day. All right. They also make a great, let's say you were going to somebody's housewarming, you could fill that whole bucket up with something and even the you know the container of the gift this is is a gift in itself right great okay now they were clearance the home the, the patio section had a huge clearance and they're not huge it was most of it was seasonal so i saw this one with the pineapple and i said i'm probably going to do something with it there's a little mark there i have to get off um it's like a pencil mark but I don't know whether I'll paint this, paint it, but I just picked this up. It's a box sign. They had other box signs, like I said. So if you want to get some box signs to redo, get them. I picked up, these were newer. Um, love the red bicycle, and this one has the tree, so it's kind of like the red truck and the tree. Uh, I think this will be very popular. And my daughter rides, and I ride, so she's actually riding in that bike tour tomorrow where she saved that man's life. So this is being nice next time she sees me to celebrate that. So I picked her one of those. And then they have these little tin signs. And this is, these were like a dollar ninety-seven or something. I thought that was I thought that they should have been like a dollar. That would have been, I would have bought every one of them. But I bought the two that I like. So this is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas and Fresh Cut Trees, because I thought these were the most original out of all the other ones. There was like ho ho ho, and then there was the Santa stops here and um, just a Merry Christmas, but this one covered Merry Christmas, and this was like real vintage looking, I think, so I picked those up. And then I showed you these the other night. These are really great containers. I bought these in the years past. I even have one by my sink where you can put sponges and those bottle brushes and, you know, the water bottle brushes and stuff in them, and it's nice they have holes, so they air circulates. But um, they had them in the purple this year. Purple must have been a huge color, and we like that here, remember? So, um, 
They're great. You can even put hair dryer, curling iron, hair brushes, lots of uses for these. I would really use the ones I had. These were 75 cents. So I picked up four of those. Okay. These are really cute. These are wood, like a vintage wood, and this metal, but it opens to reveal two little hooks. So if you like your keys out of sight, you just don't like seeing dangly keys, that's a good place. Or if you just want to hide a set or something on the wall, make it look like a decoration, that's good. You could redo it. Um, these were on clearance for $2, and they have the hook in the back there, so I picked up two of those. Get these guys over here. Picked up two of those. Right, so those were nice. Then there was, I picked up one of these. You can't go wrong, you always need these with the fire season coming. That's 97 cents. And then they had this pineapple, which I really like the pineapple. I might cut it off the steak and use it, I don't know, in a wreath or somewhere else or put it on a sign. 50 cents comes with the garden steak, but like I said, I'll probably use it somewhere else. And they had these really nice for $1.50. I love the pineapple, but the sign is kind of, um, I don't like the color, so I think I'm going to do it over, paint it maybe black and do the, the welcome in white and maybe put it in a wreath, maybe not. I, they were $1.50. I really like the size of the pineapple, so I might take, like do one with the sign, then the others take the sign off and do something else with the pineapple. So I, I bought um, three of them. Pineapples, okay. Uh, all right, so I bought three of those. And then, I showed this last night. This is that white uh, Czech farmhouse theme now. And this was 60 by 102 and it was like $9.99 at uh, Walmart. So this is a fabric, very nice. Pick that up. And let me see, any other clearance did I get? The pineapples, what else? Because I showed you the flexible bins. I showed you the milk crates. So I think that's it. I'm going to hope that this took this time. And, oh, yeah, I have that Waverly chalk paint, and I've been using this for something. I said that at Walmart. Um, I think that's about it right now. For, uh, again, other, let me see. Yeah, it was, that was like the major clearance items that I saw. But anyway, okay, guys, I'm going to let you go now. I want to make sure this stays on my camera.